Hello. Today we're going to talk about uh, the integration within uh, Cubase of Media Bay and Halion Sonic or Halion, the Halion suite of programs. So I'll create uh, an instance of Halion 6. So this is the top of the tree. This is the, the, the biggest Halion product that, that Steinberg do. And here it is. So this, this is a superset of everything. There's nothing that Halion 6 can't do that any, any other version of Halion can. And if we, ha if we have a look at uh, Synth Comp, here they all are, and you can see that they've all got three star ratings. Let's just park that for one moment. Now I'm gonna create an instance of Halion Sonic 3. So this is the full version of Halion Sonic. So now when, when we look at synth comp, you see this number here, 567. So it's 10 fewer. There are 10 fewer um, synth comp presets in Halion Sonic than there are in Halion Sonic 6. And here they all are. And you can see that they've all got three star ratings. So this 1999 synth comp here with three stars just set that to four stars okay shut this down go back into Halion 6 1999 synth comp three stars the databases the ratings databases that those two programs use are completely independent they're pointing at the same preset Let's open Media Bay. Now I've got 1,022 synth comp settings in my system at the moment, but check this out. So if I select Dark Planet and all the instances, I've got my control key here, uh, control key pressed down so I can multi-select plugin names. So I've got Dark Planet, Halion 4, Halion Sonic, Halion Sonic SE, Hypnotic Dance, and tree work. Quite a lot of background investigation has gone in to get me to this stage. There's your magic number, 577. So that is what Halion 6 is seeing. It's seeing those 577 presets inside Media Bay. Why does Halion 6 have 10 more presets than Halion Sonic? Because Halion Sonic doesn't see the Halion 4 presets. Got five, six, seven. And when we go into the instrument sets viewer, you can see there's Dark Planet. Uh, Tree works down here. Basically, any of the these in internal VSTs that form kind of instances of the Halion Sonic engine, when it's being condensed down to turn it into a dance module, then it uses the hypnotic dance mask. So when we're looking in Media Bay, we see all of the manifestations of all of the different face faces of Halion. Halion manifests as completely independent, all of these different products, they're all Halion. And so Media Bay sees all of that. Why Halion Sonic 3 can't see the Halion 4 presets, um, I don't know. Okay, so story so far. When we look inside the browsers for Halion 6 or Halion Sonic 3, we see all of the presets available according to the, the category filter that we've specified above. So here we have Halion 6 with its own completely independent rating for this synth setting here. It's got absolutely nothing to do with the Media Bay rating above. So let's, let's prove that. 1999 synth comp, we'll set that to two stars. We'll open this instance over here. We'd already set that to four stars, so it's 1999 synth comp. Let's open Media Bay, three stars. That they have no relationship with each other whatsoever. So that being insane, you have to decide which rating system you're going to use. And so I just use Media Bay, and I don't go anywhere near the individual rating systems that 
Steinberg products have. Groove Agent is the same. You, you can rate independent. Uh, you can rate sounds independently if inside Groove Agent, and it has nothing to do with the outside world. No, no, no in relation whatsoever. The integration between Halion and Media Bay is also pretty rubbish. When we open the Media Bay view from up here and have a look at Synth Comp. 435. Now, you could be forgiven for going reaching and putting a cold towel on your head at this point because we've just been told that there are 577 synth comp presets inside Hallian 6. And Hallian 6 is a part of Steinberg's own world, and so it should be fully integrated inside Media Bay. And so when we look inside Media Bay to see all of those sounds, why do we only see 435 of them? As far as I can tell, it's because the it's Sonic, it's Sonic 3's fault, basically. When you track down all of these individual numbers, most of them are correct. So Hypnotic Dance 50, when we go to Media Bay, and we look at the synth comp hypnotic dance, we get 50. Treeb work, 34. Dark planet, eight. Let's just remember those two. Over to Media Bay. Treeb work, 34. Dark planet, eight. Most of these numbers check out. It's all good news so far. And you'd expect them to. They're, they're different views of the same thing, after all. This is where it goes horribly wrong. Hallium breaks its own internal components down, like it's, you know, its subsystems like Anima and Flux and Trip and Skylab. These are things that Media Bay doesn't see. It just sees Hallium Sonic. Anima is a sub-component of Halion and doesn't exist in its own right. As far as Media Bay is concerned, there's nothing called Anima. It's just a Halion Sonic um, extension. And so trying to keep track of those numbers is really tricky. And it turns out that basically if you do all your due diligence and you figure out where these numbers are coming from, the, there's a disparity between um, Halion Sonic 3's data and Media Bay's data. So if we go to chromatic perk, because the numbers are smaller, so they're easier to handle. I think bottle grooves is an example. So there in Media Bay, you can see bottle grooves. We open Halion and search for bottle grooves. We find it. Go to the Media Bay browser. Oh, I've not spelled it right, that's cheating. It's not there. Guys. Where is it? <laughs> it's not there. The Media Bay integration from inside Halion, there's just stuff missing. I can go I can go over to Media Bay and I can find bottle grooves. There it is. If I double click that VST, it loads up an instance of Halion. And there we go into Halion. And there it is. Bottle grooves loaded into Halion Sonic 3. Absolutely no problem at all. Let's search for it inside here. And there it is. But I can't see it from the Media Bay browser. Let's find a sound called Blue Keys. Okay, here it is. Okay, so let's figure out how we're going to manage this preset sound. It's called Blue Keys. We stumbled across it. Okay, this is a Halion Sonic sound. Halion 6 can see all Halion Sonic sounds. We've already determined that earlier. Over to Sonic. Search for blue keys. Load it up. It's the same preset. Let's have a look in Media Bay. I'm going to I'm going to actually shut all these instances down. Okay, Media Bay, search for blue keys. 
I'm just going to clear all filters just to be absolutely safe. Okay, there it is, a Halion Sonic preset. So we can play it inside Media Bay. Or we can double click it to create an instance of that over in Cubase. And here it is. By default, Cubase uses Sonic 3 because that's the player, that's the Halion player of choice. What happens we go when we go into the browser and we search for blue keys? Sad times. It's just missing. Okay. So we want it to be visible from that direction. We want to rate it. We want to give it a media bay rating from within Halion. That that's the whole point. Well, you've got multiple options of how to do that. If I save preset, I have to redefine this thing from scratch. What happens if I do? Let's call it exactly the same thing. Let's give it a five star rating. So now what happens when we go into media bay? Okay. Both Halley and Sonic plugin names. One is the internal Steinberg already knows about this preset with all of its character flags and all of that good stuff but it's not accessible from inside Halion. The other one is the one manually created by me. If I double click that it opens it up in Halion Sonic 3. And now if I search for blue keys I only see the internal one. This is this is the problem with man, with trying to use these internal Sonic databases, this has got nothing to do with Media Bay. It doesn't see that other preset that I've created because this isn't an internal Halion preset. This is mine. But now if I go up here and look for blue, blue keys, here's my version of that program. If I go to Halion 6 and load that sound, and then let's just do a little bit of very quick editing and now save that. I'm going to call it Blue Keys. I'm going to give this a four star rating. Okay, that's that done. Shut all these down. Clean up. Now, what do you think we're going to get in Media Bay? That's right, three of them. But now, Halion 6. So, because it's been saved from within Halion 6, it remembers that it's a Halion 6 preset. If I double click that version, it opens it in Halion 6. And if I go to edit it, it remembers all of the changes that I made to it. Remember I set a sine wave before for it. So an absolute minefield. They came so close to doing a great job um, and didn't. If you want to try and integrate Halion into Media Bay and not go completely insane, hopefully this will help you to get a small part of the way there. Thanks very much for watching. See you next time.